Hey everybody, I am back with another mini haul for you today and I have this dress from Karen Millen. Now this was a dress I wore for Easter, so if you watched that Easter outfit of the day, you would have already seen this dress. And just as a little bit of a of, of a disclaimer here, it's not really a disclaimer, but I had previously filmed this video and I had more details about the prices in that and I accidentally deleted part of the footage. So the tag, I think it's, I've thrown it away. I don't have the price anymore, but I'm gonna tell you what I think it was. Um, anyway, so here is the dress right here. And it's a snake print dress. It's got a little bit of, um, I'm gonna say some turquoise, some black, and some green in the dress. And it's got this um, kind of a, like a little bit of a, what do you call that? My mind just sometimes just goes blank, but it's a woven pattern with these um, strings right here. So there is pretty much the dress. It has a um, elastic waistband and it's got some ruffled ease on the end and it's called the bat wing dress as you can see right there. That's why it's called the bat wing dress. And so as far as the brand Karen Millen, I'm gonna say I have only heard about the brand for the past few months. It's not a brand familiar to me, but I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I've been hearing people talk about the Karen Millen brand. And there was this one particular ruffly shirt that, a, that I'm gonna say at least three YouTubers that I watch had that same shirt. So it seems to be popular in the British YouTuber world. And I do believe Karen Millen is a British brand. They do have Karen Millen stores in the United States. I think there was one in Chicago, maybe some in Atlanta, Florida, different places. Um, to my knowledge, there is not one in Tennessee. So I got onto their website and I was looking around and I was trying to find something to wear. I saw, I had previously, I'd previously seen this particular dress in somebody else's video and I'm like, oh my goodness, that is such a cute dress. I think I wanna get that one. And so I got on their website and the first couple of things I noticed is they're pretty pricey. They're not at designer prices, but they're in the hundreds of dollars. The, uh, you know, the prices range, I'm going to say from like some of the shirts were like $170 and this dress was almost $400. I do remember that. I want to say it was $380 and I went, ooh, I don't really like paying that much, um, especially for clothing. Shoes and handbags are a different story, but clothing, it's like, mmm. So I was like, I was debating over that. And then the second thing that kind of gave me pause was the sizing and so it took me a while to finally make a decision to purchase the dress but I, I was like oh my goodness the dress is so beautiful I made the decision to purchase it so here's where the sizing was confusing for me when I got on the website it had the sizes listed in like 0 to 12 or 14 I don't remember the low exactly the low end and the top end but I want to say 0 to 14 something like that it had a photo of the model wearing the dress and there was a, a note that says the model is wearing a size 10. I do remember that specifically. And the model did not look like a US size 10. She was much thinner than that. And so I was very confused about the sizing. So I wasn't sure what to do. So at that point I made a phone call to Karen Millen and I asked them and they said, okay, if you're on the US um, site, the sizing will be in US sizing. And if you're on the UK site, they're in UK sizing. So what I ascertained was I was on the US site, but the photo of the model was done in UK sizing. So that was something to be, uh, you need to be aware of. At least that was my interpretation of everything. Once I learned about the sizing, then I finally made the decision to go ahead and purchase the dress because I thought the dress was absolutely beautiful. I realize it's not going to be to everybody's taste, but I thought it was really pretty, um, very flattering the way the shape of the dress. I like how it goes in at the waist and flows out. That is what I need in my clothing is to go in at the waist and kind of give me a lot more room <laughs> back on this end down here. And so um, I went ahead and ordered it. It took um, about a week uh, to be shipped to me from the date I ordered it. So it took longer than I anticipated on that. So it came in and I believe, now this is the part after I've already removed the tags and everything. I want to say 
that if you remove the tags, you own the dress. If you don't, you can return it. That's the thing I'm a little fuzzy on right now because I lost the footage on that other video. Um, but for, you know, I did decide to keep it, obviously, because I still have it. I will tell you that the dress was a little bit confusing uh, to me at first. <laughs> it has a built-in slip or a lining that is removable. This part of the dress has these snaps on it. And you can snap the strap of the lining in, but that doesn't have to be done. I'm not sure. I mean, that keeps it on your shoulders, but you don't have to do that. So I just kind of left that unsnapped. And I went ahead and tried it on. And I will tell you, you for me personally, I had to kind of put that lining on first. And I noticed that the sizing on that item didn't fit very well as the dress did. The dress fit fine, but the lining was, it, it just did not fit well. And for those of you who are curious, I ordered a US size eight. So on this dress, it says UK size 12, US size eight, European size 40. The dress, dress is made in Lithuania if you're curious about where it's made. And so the lining thing didn't fit all that well. I was able to make it work. And then I tried it on, and the dress is completely see-through. You may not be able to tell right now, but without that lining, you can see completely through the dress. So I'm like, that's not going to work for me. And even with the lining, I found out that I needed to wear a, I have a very thin, um, very light pink t-shirt. I still needed to wear that underneath it. So I was like, I had to make this dress work. And I will tell you at this point right now, I do regret purchasing this dress. I will wear it again because I still think it's beautiful. But for what I paid for it, I've, I've literally had to make it work. Because the lining for me isn't enough to keep it modest. I still had to wear other things. I had to wear a t-shirt underneath it, even with the lining in there. And so, um, sorry about the noise I'm making. It's <laughs> these little things, they're hitting the chair. But... Um, I, d I, d I would not repurchase the dress whatsoever, and I went ahead and chose to wear it. I wanted to, you know, get the, at least a wear out of it, and if it would have been a dress that I would have purchased, say, at Nordstrom, if that was an option, I would have e returned it immediately, but because of the fact that I ordered it and they have specific rules towards that, about that company, it was like I couldn't return the dress after I'd worn it, and so... You know, it is still beautiful. I still think it was way too pricey. It was a regret purchase for me. I do like the way it looks, though. Once I once I make it work, I like the way it looks. And um, I wanted to find the tag. The material feels like silk, but it ain't silk. I think it's polyester. And the lining, I'm almost positive it's polyester. I remember looking before and I'm like, I didn't even get a silk dress for that price. And so it's polyester. The lining is polyester. The lining is much smaller. I'm just re kind of recapping right now. The lining is much smaller than the dress itself. So initially I did try it on with and without the lining and it fits so much better without the lining. But trying to make the modesty aspect work for that did not work very well. So I, you know, had to wear the lining. I had to put another t-shirt on and so forth and so on. So I'm a little hesitant, or I should say a lot hesitant, to order from the brand Karen Millen again. I'm just not sure how I feel about it right now. There are some beautiful items from that brand, but I, after this, I don't want to call it a disaster or a fiasco, but after this dress, it's like, mmm, it's going to be one of those places I would prefer to actually go to the store try the clothing on first, see how I feel about it, see how it looks, see how it fits before I make a decision to purchase anything else from the brand. I'm hoping that maybe sometime in the future Nordstrom or maybe Neiman Marcus will pick up the brand. There, I don't know if there's anybody else selling it right now. And um, that's just kind of my thoughts on it right now. You know, if you get one bad apple, you don't ever want to eat that type of apple again. So that's kind of what I've got with this dress. I mean, initially it's beautiful, but I just had to put so much work into it to make it work for me. And um, 
that's pretty much what I've got to say about this this dress and the brand right now and if I ever you know travel to a city that has the store I would love to go in there and try more items but for now I do not plan on purchasing anything else by the brand so thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it bye bye guys